Good afternoon. My name is Charles Michaud. Before I get started, I would like to thank Betty Craig and Lawrence Vinson of WAEN TV Studio for this wonderful opportunity to come and speak with you today. Um, this speech, the speech that I'm about to give, is a tribute to the great Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. One of the things that I want to encourage uh, each and every one of you is to encourage others to register and vote. It's very troubling to me personally um, when I see some of our young people not taking advantage of the opportunity to go out and vote. When I think about the civil rights movement, I think about Rosa Parks, I think about the three people killed in Mississippi, I think about the great Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. went to jail over 30 times. He went to jail over 30 times. So I and you and your family and your church and your friends could today have the right to vote. And now that we had that right, some of us are, are ignoring it, are not respecting the blood that was shed, the lives that were lost. And the many times Dr. King went to jail. I encourage you to register and vote. I encourage you to tell others to register and vote. And I'm not saying for you to vote Republican or Democrat. I'm just saying register and vote. Make your voice be counted. I thank my God, Jesus Christ. No other help I know. My God, Jesus, if thou withdraw thyself from me, Whither shall I go? A young slave boy. He stood one day before the greatest ruler of his day. And God said to Moses, he said, what's in your hand? And Moses said, Lord, he said, only I've got a stick, that's all. And God said, well, let me use what's in your hand. And God used a stick in Moses' hand to divide the Red Seas, to march through a wilderness, to bring water out of rock and manna from heaven and lead his people to freedom land. What's in your hand? What's in your hand? George Washington Carver, who was so frail that he was traded for a broken down horse as a slave boy. And George Washington Carver said, I just get up each morning at five o'clock and I go out into the field and I pray and I ask God to guide me. And then I bring back these little things and I work them over in my laboratory. And George Washington Carver did more to revolutionize the agricultural science of peanuts and of cotton and sweet potato than any other human being in the field of agricultural science. What's in your hand? What's in your hand, seamstress from Montgomery, Alabama? I've got 10 cents in my hand. And I'm trying. I'm trying to ride the city bus. But they won't let me. And Rosa Parks, with just two nickels in her hand, sparked one of the greatest civil rights battles this country has ever known. Just letting God 
use 10 cents in her hand. What's in your hand? What's in your hand? I've got a string in my hand and I'm flying a kite. And way up in the heavens, lightning strikes it and I, Benjamin Franklin, discover for the first time the possibilities of electricity just letting God guide a string in my hand. What's in your hand? What's in your hand, little hunchback sitting in a Roman jail? I haven't got anything in my hand but an old quill pen. And God said, write what I tell you to write. And the Apostle Paul wrote, I have run my race with patience. I finished my course. I've kept the faith. Henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness. What's in your hand? What's in your hand, little boy? All I've got is a slingshot. And the enemies of my people are great and big and more numerous than we are. He said, well, little David, go on down to the brook and pick out a few stones and come on back. And close your eyes if you want to and pull back that slingshot and let him go. And little David killed the biggest enemy of the leader of the giants against his people, just letting God guide a stone in his hand. Hallelujah. And a few years pass. And David is a king. And God said, what's in your hand, David? And he said, Lord, I got a harp in my hand. And God said, well, play on your harp. And he played, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Maketh me to lie down near green pastures and leadeth me beside still waters. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. What's in your hand? What's in your hand, man hanging on a cross? I've got two nails in my hands. Father, Abba, I stretch my hands to thee. No other help I know. If thou withdraw thyself from me, whither shall I go? And that carpenter, that carpenter with two nails, in his hands, split history in half, B.C. and A.D. And I say to you this afternoon that there is a God who rules above the hand of power and the heart of love. And if we're right, he'll fight our battles. And the victory will be won sooner than we dreamed sooner than we hoped for, and sooner even than we imagined. My friends, I ask you from the deepest part of my heart to register and vote, to encourage the people you know to register and vote. And when you register and vote, have an image of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. smiling on you. And if you don't register and vote, my friends, it will be a very sad day. Because, again, the great Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., he went to jail over 30 times. Over 30 times. So you and I and my son, and my family, and my friends, and my church. So all of us could enjoy the liberty of citizenship. And the liberty of citizenship begins with the vote. Thank you.